Hello, this is a walkthrough for Repton to welcome a easy tutorial scenario. And when you enter a level, it's always a good idea to look at the map first, get an idea of where everything is, and spot any traps like this one. There's an egg balance on top of a safe. So the egg will roll off and crack when we get the key and turn the safes into key into diamonds. So you can just see there the egg has cracked and when we get up here it's patched into a monster. And that was easy enough to deal with by pushing that rock onto it, which is the way that you deal with monsters in Repton. The orange circle is a save point, so if you make a mistake you can reload the game and continue from that point instead of having to start again from the beginning. We just took two transporters in succession. They didn't take us very far, but in Repton 2, um, transporters can even take you to a different level, so the whole scenario forms a sort of puzzle with lots of smaller puzzles within it. And there we can see how rocks and eggs can roll off walls with rounded corners. And eggs behave very much like rocks, but there are some differences which uh, you can learn about by watching my um, walkthrough for Safari. Well, I've just transported to level two, and that thud meant an egg has dropped and cracked. But by the time we get to the map, it's already hatched, so we can't see it. But it's actually there next in that room next to where the rock was balanced on the safe. Those square tiles are puzzle pieces, and as you collect each one, and you have to collect all of them they form the puzzle completed picture at the bottom of level one. Ah, now this is a spirit and it follows the walls until it can reach a cage and turn it into a diamond. It follows the walls on its left. Again you can learn more about spirits in my safari walkthrough. One of Repton's tasks is to squash all the monsters so we have to deal with this one like that and the monsters they just always try to move directly towards Repton don't really have any sort of AI but they will sort of dodge by one column or row if they get blocked I haven't mentioned the skulls yet they're also fatal to Repton you can brush past them but don't walk into them these spirits here need Repton to take the transporter so that they can get to their cages. So we do that and don't transport very far. And while there's a bit of a lull in the action, I'll um, point out that in Repton 2, you have to take all the earth. Collecting every piece of earth is one of Repton's tasks, which uh, is different from Repton 1 and 3, so that changes the strategy a bit. Now, uh, it's a good idea to always check the map before you leave a level to make sure you've collected everything. And uh, that was a bit scary because spirits are fatal to Repton. But all I had to do was wait for them to get their cages. I forgot to look at the map, but never mind. Haven't teleported very far. The only way out of that area was the transporter. Now I need to push those two rocks to the side so that the other rocks drop down and make space for me to get through at the top. Now look closely at the skull above when I collect the last puzzle piece here. And that was a guardian skull which disappears when you complete one of Repton's tasks. In this case, the task was to complete to collect all the puzzle pieces but one. As you can see here, there's still one missing, so we have to do more on level one to find it. As well as collect a few more diamonds and pieces of earth. So another quick look at the map to check that we don't have to brave the noisy and dangerous meteor shower. Those two guardian skulls have just disappeared because we got the last diamond and last piece of earth. The puzzle is now complete, so we can go to the starport. Now, the game is completed. 
and this uh, superior interactive logo here that is actually the completed puzzle so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it goodbye